We're going to take a look at similar areas and volumes. So it's very closely linked to similar shapes, um, but it's tricky. It catches a lot of people out. And my advice is always to do it with drawings. And I'll, I'll talk about my very badly drawn rabbit, which I've just noticed has no arms, in a minute. Right, so let's say we have a rectangle, and we're told the area is 8. And we're going to enlarge the shape by scale factor 2. What is the new area? So the most classic answer is is 16, because if I think, well, it's just twice as big, so the area is going to be twice as big, but that is not the case. So let, let's use this one, and if I put some dimensions or some numbers on these dimensions to make an 8, I'm going to choose the easiest ones possible. So I'm going to say that's 8 and that's 1. It doesn't have to be to scale. Now, if I enlarge the shape by scale factor 2, and I'm not going to make the drawing any bigger, I'm just going to change my numbers, you see it's not 16. It's 16 times 2, and the area is therefore 32. Sorry, that should have a squared there. So it's actually been times by 4. Or you could say it's been times by 2 twice. And the reason we times it twice is because every dimension is being enlarged by 2. This is a two-dimensional shape. So that means we have to multiply it by 2 twice. And we can form this. So the area scale factor of any shape is the length scale factor squared because of the two dimensions. So if it's scale factor 3, I would times it by 3 twice, squared. three, And then another 3. 3 squared is 9. So, But I prefer to do it by drawing. Now, this one might really confuse you, what, well, the way I'm going to do it, because it's talking about a triangle with an area of 36. So let's draw a triangle. And obviously the triangle formula is a little bit more complicated than the than the uh, rectangle or the square. So it's base times height halved. So whatever I make the base and the height, it's got to be half to get 36. So let's go, let's go 9 and 8. So 9 times 8 is 72, and a half that, that gives me 36. So if I enlarge it by scale factor 3, what I'm going to have now is 27 and 24. And I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to multiply these two together and then half them. So what you can actually do, because it doesn't actually matter if it's a triangle, the area is 36. So personally, what I would prefer to do is maybe just draw a rectangle, because as long as it has the same area, it's not going to make any difference at all. So let's go with 6 and 6. I'll try and make the numbers as small as I can. And again, this isn't a particularly nice one. That's going to be 18 times 18, three times as bigger. I'd rather do 18 times 18 than 27 times 24 and a half. So I'm going to do it um, the most fluent way possible, which is long multiplication. 1 times 8 is 8, plus 6 is 14. So now I'm multiplying by 10. So I just multiply everything by 1 and add the 0. 8 and 1, add those together, and I get 324. So the answer is 324. The alternative way using this formula is probably easier for this one. So we know the area scale factor is the length scale factor squared. The length scale factor in this case is 3, and 3 squared is therefore 9. So I've got to make the area 9 times bigger. So 36 times 9. You'll find that is the same as this. So drawing pictures, you can don't have if it says triangle, you don't have to draw a triangle. You can do any shape with the area. This number is quite large, so that meant the calculations were quite difficult. Um, but I've shown you three different ways there, so hopefully one of them takes your fancy. Now this one is slightly different because my very badly drawn rabbit with no arms is a, a toy, and it has a volume of eight. Now a larger version is made, which is 24 centimetres high. So we can see this one is 8, so it's actually going to be 3 times as big. Now, we don't have a formula for finding the volume of this. The only way we would do it is immersing it in water, I guess, and looking at displacement. But I don't. it doesn't have to be that. Like I said with the triangle, it could be this. It could be any shape. You could melt this down and turn it into this. It would just be a very weird-looking box. So let's draw a box which has 8. So I'm going to do the easiest, 8, 1, and 1. So anything times, like 8 times 1 times 1 is still 8. So now I'm making it 3 times as bigger. You can see that it's 8 and 24. So again, the scale factor is 3. 
So if I make it 24, 3 and 3, I can multiply these together. Every dimension is multiplied by 3. So what I'm going to do is 3 times 3 is 9 and then times that by 24. So that's 180 plus 36 is 216 centimeters cubed. So there you have it. It's not as simple as timesing it by 3. You have to this one times it by 3 in every dimension again. So the volume scale factor is the length scale factor cubed. So it's 3 cubed is 27 is the volume scale factor. So instead of doing the picture, I could have done the volume that I had before, 8 times 27. That would give you the same answer. I prefer pictures. If you prefer the formula, go for it.